Okay, here we go, our SS color. So I'll start off in the front with slightly diagonal sections. And here I'll foil from hairline to crown. I'll take the weave through the front quite fine, just so it blends naturally. I want a quite light effect, but I won't take this very first section too heavy. My first color, i am using lightener with 20 to just get even saturation throughout the foil. Pack that foil up, seal it down. And my next diagonal section start to take the slice a bit heavier than the original so I'm building up my color so I'm alternating two colors here my second tone that I'm using is 11 ash with a 40 volume developer and I'll alternate these tones throughout this process I'm doing a two to one ratio so two lighteners to every one high lift and that way I'll get like a quite heavy foil effect through the top portion. So again, place this foil just right at the seam, right there at the hairline. Place your product in the mid shaft and then gently touch up that root area and then pull the chemical through to the ends. Make sure the saturation is distributed evenly and thoroughly. Okay, so about alternating these tones, I can build up my color. So my very first foil, I went in really soft and I started to build up the, the chemical. So now I'm going like heavier and heavier with every slice. Once I reach the area by the crown, then I'll start to build down the color a bit because her hair is quite short and she has these two jumpy cowlicks. So I have to take that into consideration. Okay, so now through the sides, I'll go in again with diagonal sections and I want my color palette to match up with the exact color palette that it connects to. So with this angle and foil placement, it doesn't match up to the first foil. The first foil I use bleach, but this the hairline angle doesn't connect. So I'll begin the side with the high lift with the 11 ash with 40. And then I'll go back and I'll revert to my two to one ratio. So I'm taking this slice a bit heavy and just make sure you get the foil right there at the hairline. Be generous with your product. Make sure you get, you hit everything. You don't want to leave anything else. And when you're working with foils, you don't want to see like a section of the foil that has a, a lot of product and a section of the foil that barely has any. You want even distribution of the product. So still working in that two to one ratio, two packets of lightener for every one packet of high lift. So then I know mathematically that through the top area, I'll have 66.6% .6 super light. And the 33.3% is still light, but it's, it's light enough. And these sections, they pivot slightly and they'll meet in a soft triangle. So now just to like the crown area, I'll go back and I'm gonna hit this again with the lighter of the two colors. So I'm hitting this with the 11 ash with 40, just to anticipate the jumpiness at that cowlick. Okay, so now I'll go through and I'm, I'll do it all over tint. So the color that I'll be using is a level seven ash with 40 volume developer. And this is for the mid shaft through the ends. So just working clean mechanical sections, making sure you get even distribution of that product. Okay, now we're going in between foils, just hitting the ends. I'll touch up the roots later. After the processing time, I'll go back and I'll hit the root area with a level seven ash and 30 volume developer. Okay, well, there you have it. Our SS chemical technique, enjoy.